There's a thin line between life and death. An SV Twiz film that shows the truth about what's going on in the hood. You've seen the rest. Now it's time to see the best. Starring Vodka Thousand Proof and SV Twiz. A hood drama that shows you the meaning of money, power, and respect. Torn apart. Yo, you really doing your thing with that girl? Like, what's up, nigga? I can't call it, bro. Hey, yo. Watch it now on YouTube at Life with the Philly Fam. The city of Philadelphia, known for many things, known for the cheese sticks, known for talented boxers, known for being some of the most lyrical artists in the world. But what Philadelphia is also known for is the gun violence. And the gun violence seems to be a downfall of the black community in all inner cities around the world. But specifically with Philadelphia, I see a lot of times that on this internet and on the news, they throw around the word gang. Now, as a gang, as we know, you have like Crips, Bloods, GDs, and other gangs all around the world. And on the average gang, you have to get initiated inside of the gang. Philadelphia is not a city that has Crips, Bloods, GDs, or things of that nature. What we do represent is neighborhoods, blocks, more in that genre of the streets, if that makes sense. Now, with that being said, in the streets of Philadelphia, every hood... You might know people in your hood, might be connected. It might be all love, but it can turn left quick. You could be going to war with somebody that lived two doors down from you that you grew up with. A lot of times it's over money and over females. As senseless as this sounds, this is a, a actual problem that we deal with in the city of Philadelphia. And let's not forget ego and respect. So this instant story right here is about Shaw Money, OBH, the Wolf. OBH was a record company that was slash music slash family. These guys, if they didn't know each other their whole life, once they clicked up, they became an immediate brotherhood with trust, loyalty, love, and respect. And each member of OBH defended their honor and every member in OBH knew what position they were to play in the group. A.R. Ab is who I like to refer to as the Philly Al Capone. He had all the characteristics of a boss of a group, whether you're dealing with wolves, whether you're dealing with people that was not from the streets but just needed guidance. He was a great leader for his team. He made sure everybody in his team was good gave everybody an opportunity. And I have yet to see an interview from AR Ab where he didn't introduce or shout out members from his crew. For me specifically, OBH was the best movement that came out of the city of Philadelphia since state property. And before that, of course, we had major figures. But this group was so organized and had so much attraction. They had the law of attraction down packed. But within that group, some of the artists were humble artists. Shaw Money the Wolf 
was one of them. He was more of a humble artist. Shaw Money, which is from the uptown part of Philly, he represents Ogons Incorporated, and he was always calm and silent. We heard him on music. He didn't really talk much. He didn't talk too heavy, but he was always there supporting the group. Me, myself, I was able to meet Shaw Money. He's actually from my part of the city. You know what I mean? I don't live uptown, which we call Germantown uptown, but for those of y'all that's from Philly, y'all know what it is. But I was able to meet Shaw Money. You know, his energy was a stack. He was a calm, cool, and collective guy. But there was also another side of Shaw Money that the streets heard that he can turn it up on you real quick if need be. Now, with OVH clicking up with AR Ad, him and AR Ad pretty much had like a similar to what Dark Low and AR Ad went through, where it was kind of confrontational when these guys met. AR Ab claimed in it on one of his interviews that he thought that Shaw Money had something to do with a situation where, you know, Shaw Money was allegedly supposed to be bringing harm AR Ab way. And AR Ab chased him, pulled up on him in traffic, and eventually they connected and understood that it was a misunderstanding. From that day on, they became brothers. Now, as time go on, Shaw Money gets arrested and locked up before the OBH indictment. Now, at this time, he's just sitting. He's sitting all through the pandemic. He's sitting. While he's sitting in his prison, AR Ave and all of them, they get indicted. So time goes on and we're going to fast forward because I'm not going to stretch this video out. If y'all want to part two, let me know. I can get into more specific details. But for this particular video, I want to talk about the assassination of Shaw Money, how everything played out, and the word on the streets. So basically, like I said, Shaw Money was arrested before Ab, Skinny Me, and all of them. Shaw Money sits, he does his bed. He comes home at the time when A.R. Ab and all of these guys are already arrested. So when he came home this particular time, he seemed to be more vocal than he was any other time in his career. Shout out to Philly Fame. He did the interview with Philly Fame right after he got released from prison. And on this particular interview, he seemed to have been talking a lot more than what Shaw Money has ever spoke on any platforms. So with me seeing this footage, deep down inside, I said, when Shaw Money was locked up, he said, when I come home, I'm going to turn it all the way up. Let's not forget he had the carpet, the red carpet rolled out for him on the strength of AR Ab and OBH. He was always speak highly of, so I feel as though this time, he chose that he was going to catch that alley -oop and carry it now he was released from prison bro when he got released from prison within three months if i'm not mistaken the actual date was may 14th 2022 you know how it is when you come home you want to catch up on everything whether you blow you drink you want to go to this club you want to do this you want to do that and he was feeling good about himself. And he also spoke on trying to adapt to the city of Philly with everybody wearing ski masks all day, every day. Because from our era, me and Shaw Money around us, we like the same age. So when we came up, seeing somebody walk up and down the streets with a ski mask wasn't regular. If it's, if somebody had a ski mask on, if their face was covered up and they, you seen them coming down the block, that mean it was some drama that was about to occur. So he spoke on how the city changed and how he had to get used to it. But he still choose to finesse around the city as he felt as though he should. So on May 14th in North Philly, which was Shaw Money's second home. He has family out in North Philly. And the average guy from Uptown 
it's always down north because uptown and north is a, a 10 15 minute car ride you know what i'm saying so the people that's really outside from uptown you're going to be down north that's just that's just part of it back in the day you had to go up there just to get some exotic which is now called loud but we used to have the haze the dro the real a1 sour and stuff like that we had to take them rides down north whether you was on a bike and a Johnny, whatever the situation is, your squatter, you dig what I'm saying? You had to take them trips. You had to you had to shoot down north. So with that being said, he was really affiliated with North, man, and was comfortable. That was his second home, like I said. So on this particular night, dark night in the city of Philly, he was fresh home. He was feeling himself as he should. He shot money. OBH the Wolf. He down north and he was in his car. While he was in his car, someone from South Philly by the name of EJ, Elijah Jennings or Jenkins or something like that, he chose to pull up on him and he started shooting shot money, pulled right up to the, you know, to the driver's seat to the driver's side and started shooting through the car. He shot him in his neck in a few other spots. He was shot several times in North Philadelphia. It was about eight tonight on the 2000 block of West Estaw Street. Police say the victim was shot twice in the head and once in the neck. He was pronounced dead at the scene. So far, no word on any arrests. After this shooting, after this shooting, the city was puzzled. The fans was puzzled. There were plenty of rumors going around the city, and one of the rumors was Shaw Money allegedly was starting to talk too much. Remind you, this is a rumor. Nothing that I'm saying is a factual event that took place to him getting his life taken. But one of the rumors was Shaw Money was talking too much on the interview. Another rumor was that he was talking too much about the previous case that he had court because there was a shooting involved. And then the last rumor that I heard, which was the rumor that was thrown around a lot, was that Shaw Money OBH the Wolf was given this guy EJ, baby mom, the treatment, meaning as though, you know, he had intercourse with her, you know, he was giving them the treatment, and, you know, when you're dealing with wolves, period, they get emotional, and instead of looking at the simple fact that your female is just as guilty as the guy, a lot of times they take it out on the guy, and they want to take their life or bring harm to them. I'm not saying that this is a fact, but these are the rumors that we're going around the streets of Philadelphia. Now, he hasn't even been home a good 90 days yet. And this transpired. So at the time when it happened, nobody knew who took his life. People wanted to point out and try to say that, you know, certain people wasn't vocal about what happened. But we have to remember that coming from our city, or coming from any hood around the world, everybody deals with things differently. You know what I'm saying? Let's think of the OBH members that was home at the time when this happened. You had like Leek Moss, C Dot, Razor, and a few other artists. These guys don't really, they don't voice their opinion or put up everything on Instagram, especially when it's personal, man. If it's not like a free ad post or something like that, they don't get in the specific details. Now, I interviewed C. Dot and Razor, and I asked them about how did they feel about that. And if y'all want to check that out, make sure y'all know. Make sure y'all check it out. It's actually up above right now. So just click on that link. But what we also have to realize is that OBH they lost plenty of artists. They lost Ben Trill. They lost Rick Osama, who wasn't a rapper, but he was the original Grim Reaper. I think that's 
specifically why Skinny Me had was so attached to OBH and had such of a wave that he had because Skinny Me was like Rico Sama, but a rapping version of Rico Sama. He was more vocal than Rico Sama. Rico Sama didn't talk too much. When you look at Rico Sama, you saw the darkness. You heard AR, you heard Dark, and plenty of other artists speaking on sending Rico Sama to come see you. He was the original Grim Reaper. And with that being said, they also they also lost Ant. You know what I'm saying? They also lost Ant. And there were plenty of other situations where they lost other people, man, that was a part of the movement. T-Mac, which was another one. So with this darkness being let out that Shaw Money Life was taken, people wanted to know what happened, bro. Who did it? Time went on. Then all of a sudden, this video was released. Brookhaven police have just pulled over this black SUV for a traffic violation. They have reason to believe a suspect with a felony warrant for murder might be in the car. Step out. Yes. yes Driver, step out. Keep your hands up. Your hands visible, buddy. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Come to me. Hey, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. The passenger jumps into the driver's seat and takes move, off. Move, move! Go, 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 go! All right, 100 word pursuit. Uh, it's gonna be the uh, murder suspect. He turns into oncoming traffic. And then jumps the median. Set up for another pit maneuver. Watch out for pedestrians, 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 pedestrians. And he gets away again. Looks like the fourth time's a charm. The suspect takes off on foot and they release the canine. The canine releases the suspect, Good boy. Good boy. who's quickly handcuffed and placed under arrest. All officers are code 10. Suspect is in custody. Start your response. Good boy. After this video was released, we was able to see who the alleged shooter was because he's still in court fighting to this day. So. You're innocent until proven guilty, so I don't want to put it on that man, but this is the alleged shooter, and he was out Atlanta. Atlanta is like a second home of Philly, along with like New York and Jersey and stuff like that. Atlanta is just one of them places where you can drive to from Philly, bro. It's a little ride, but people take that ride. Now, with that being said, as he gets pulled up on for a basic traffic routine stop he takes the cops on skates you know what i mean he, he, he take them on a chase and then they he chops out they 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 bang his car out he tries to run and they sick the k9 on him the k9 gets him and as of now he's in custody my whole thing is was it worth it 
If it was over a female, was it worth it? Two lives going to waste. If it was over something dealing with maybe giving up too much information or something like that, we know that's what come with the streets. But as of now, it's not a guaranteed act that we know that that happened for sure. But what we do know is that Sha Money was fresh home from jail and he was trying to make a change. He was trying to step it up. And with that being said, his life was taken. I believe he had a daughter out here that he loved very well. And she won't never get a chance to see her father again. Just because Shaw Money has happened to be at that particular place at that time. And who knows, even if he wasn't there, it could have happened down the line. Or maybe the guy wouldn't have been more as upset as what he has been that night, the time that he did see Shaw Money. Or maybe he would have saw Shaw Money and not been strapped and couldn't have did what he did. Who knows? What I do know is that the creator is the most perfect planner and that it is all still an unfortunate situation man so this was a little briefer on shy money the wolf man obh let me know what y'all think man drop a comment below if it's any other rappers from the city or people from the city period that y'all want me to touch up on Drop it in the comment, man. But this is SV Twist, the hub blogger. Shout out to OBH. Everybody hold their head up that's in them jails. Period. Around the world. OBH. Whoever, man, that was solid. That's in them Jones, man. But y'all know how I carry it. The hub blogger. And that's all I got.